All right, pretty simple to uh, create your own Google Classroom. So you're in classroom.google.com. Here are the classes that you might have already joined up as a teacher. Um, so the plus button on the top right there, and you just go to create class. So you put in the class name, all the, um, and then create. And then once it's created, uh, you will need to add students and you can add them via their email account or just put that um, join code uh, for them to join on their devices. Too easy. So invite by email or uh, they can join by the class code. Sweet. So here is a Google Classroom from last year. It's got all my announcements in the stream. It's got all the students from last year. And obviously I want a fresh one uh, for this year. So what you can do, the three dots, make a copy of it. Um, and what that will do is copy not only the title of the class, but it will also more importantly copy all the assignments that are in there, making copies of all the templates. It will remove all the students. It won't have anything in the announcement stream, but it's a really good way uh, to easily be able to reuse your resources from last year. So if we scroll up to the top, so here it is, it's created that class. It's taking a bit of time to uh, make copies of uh, all of the assignments. And here it is all finished. So I can open that up. Notice there's nothing now in the, uh, the stream. Uh, there's no students enrolled, but in terms of all the assignments, they are all there copied over but in draft form. So when I'm ready to assign that first assignment, I can just go through and edit that. It's got all the text, all the attachments, um, and I can just uh, change the due date or click on the assign button. Too easy.